Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. One thing I spoke about, and this was on a few pods, it was just me and Chip actually, was we spoke about a topic called legacy, right? Oh. And I, I actually, I got, I got quite a lot of stick for this. But okay. I still, I still stick by what I said. Yes. Uh, when I say stick, it was just like people's opinions. It, okay. it, it, it wasn't. Anyways, look, legacy. So what I said was, mm -hmm. there's the to to me, legacy is nothing, right? And no, no, I'll explain to you why. I think your legacy is is pointless because ultimately, you die, and you leave behind memory f for a little while, right? People will, will remember, if they said your name, you get brought up, right? But I think the longer that goes on, unless you are truly making like something revolutionary in the sense that, you it know, the the tele, the, like, you know, Albert Einstein, like yeah, that, yeah. Level of, that level of thing. Then but then that's that, but, legacy but even, then. No, no, but, but even then, Albert Einstein to me is just a name. It's just a name attached to something. Right, and you yeah, can, but you know and his that's face, and, that, and that's legacy. Fine, but what I'm saying is the percentage and the, the amount of people that work <clears> towards <throat> this thing called legacy, when in reality, <laughs> the chance like everyone dies and it and it means nothing and it's worth nothing, right? Yeah. So, and I and I remember you explicitly telling me, and I think I mentioned it at the time, and I said me and JJ have very different views on legacy, okay? Because you said I said to you, why bother keep boxing? when for you that like there's monetary gain mm. but it's not life-changing for you mm -mm. it's not a, it's, it, it it boosts your account a bit but it, it's not like you know let's be honest the music money everything uh, yeah, and all your yeah, other yeah. money the that's music, serious yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. piece right why is it that you care so much about legacy, what legacy? because yeah. it's everything See, that, that's insane to me it's everything it's the reason why i do what i do it gives me purpose it's but, but so, so your purpose is to is be, to what though? To be the fucking goat, bro. To be the man that had z literally nothing, started with zero, yeah, zero subscribers. I was able to become something that no one ever thought they could become. Mm. Right. So if you saw me zero subscribers, you yeah. saw me as a YouTuber, and you looked at one of my videos, you would have gone, "There's no way he's gonna be." a boxer that can sell a million plus pay-per-views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way he's going to be a musician that's able to get a number one album. There's no way he's going to get 10 million subscribers or have a group where they all have 10 million plus subscribers and all this and that. There's no way. There's just no... Who is he? He's just some random YouTuber with zero subscribers. But do, do, do you think when you die... Yes. ...that people will care about that? Yes. So, and keep in mind, by the way, this is... This is, this is uh, what you know coming Look, up to 30 so this is yeah. another like 55 years on mm -hmm. there, there's a new way there, there's a new yeah, way, there's yeah, a new yeah. way to consume media everything has changed in the mm. world do you because you, you do stuff that you don't really want to do but you know it's because of your legacy that you want to want to leave mm. do you not think it's more important just to enjoy the time you have here but i know I, this is quite but deep I, but, but i, I am i am enjoying the time do you enjoy it yeah as in like the journey I'm enjoying it. I think before I used to be so focused on just the goal. So for example, me beating Logan Paul, I was just focused on the goal, goal, goal. Like that's everything that I want and need. And then once I got it, I was like, oh shit, now what? And I just felt a bit empty and a bit lost. Whereas now I've created a goal that isn't ever achievable. Which is? Being the goat, right? Being the best, or the, being the best human being that I can be, mm, right? That How can you achieve goal. that? Because there's always another mm. level. You can always do more. When it comes to boxing, I know this amount. Like, that's now. Yeah. Imagine how much I knew when I was fighting Logan. It was next to nothing. Mm. And I'm always learning, and I'm always learning new things about my life, my mind, my body, and I think that's. For me now, especially, like I'm enjoying the journey more because I'm just 
you know, I'm not focused on the goal. I'm just being like, yeah, you know what? This journey, it's fucking sick. Yeah. You know, it, obviously it has its ups and downs. It's not all just up because that'd be boring. Imagine you're always just winning. It'd yeah. be boring. You'd just be bored of winning. You've got to lose. But right. then I just don't, I pick my moments when to lose. Sure. But <clears throat> the, po the point that I make is that when you die, yes. it's not like you get to enjoy your legacy. No, when do I die, see, do you see what I mean? I die, then then what? But I've left yeah. behind a a whole fucking my whole legacy. I've left behind inspiration. I've made millions, if not billions, of people go. Shit, if he could do it, I can yeah. do it. Which, which is which is nice an idea, but ultimately you're dead, do, and that sounds crazy but your debt you it means nothing yeah but then if you do you if know you, what i mean yeah because, but then if you, not there. i feel like if i thought like that then yeah. i just I'd, I'd have nothing to live for i just okay. i'd just be like all right now what all right well i guess i don't well, know no, you, i guess i guess you would just do what you enjoy right and and you wouldn't you wouldn't be so i don't want to say so but so so focused on leaving this legacy behind that you you strictly do what you enjoy mm. yeah do you see what i mean I, I can still do that but also create a fucking huge legacy that everyone can go so, so you you enjoy create i i, I guess it's a you, you you i guess the way to describe it is more so you just enjoy the journey of being the of on your being way to like be in the go. I or like a yeah, pioneer you know I mean? of most things that yeah. happen. In the yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like let's say with YouTube. Yeah. I reached the ceiling and I was like, you know, I'm popular on YouTube. I'm smashing it. But when I go wireless, I can't even go so, backstage. Yeah. I have to buy a VIP to get some like yeah, backstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, even yeah. then I still can't be backstage, backstage. I'm, I'm not like VVIP. I can't get all these, you know, like perks. And I was like, why is it? Oh, I just need to smash it in music. You want to yeah. climb the hierarchy. You want yeah, to so be I was like, all right, more right, than cool. just a top YouTuber, you want it to be. Well, I was like, all right, fine. I'll just, if, I, if that's what it takes, I'll just work towards that. Yeah. So I smashed it with music. And now I've got all those things that I, you know, wanted from the beginning. Mm. And like with boxing, I, I you know, I, I, at first I was like, oh, you know, like I didn't think, I didn't really want to do it. I thought it was kind of pointless, blah, blah, blah. Got called out by Joe. And then I was like, fuck it, I'll train, I'll train. And then I loved it. And then I was like, oh shit, you know what? I want, I want to do more of this. It's, yeah. you know, it, I feel more powerful. It's just, I don't know. Like maybe I'm just a bit of a freak in terms of, like even with therapy, I just, I love therapy because it allowed me to control my mind yeah. and allowed me to understand my mind and then in turn become more powerful because of it. What's the end result though? Like where do you stop? Or where do you the go? Where do, where do you look at yourself and go, that's it. I've Cause, done it. Because there is a, like, I think there is a peak. I think for me, that's it is when I probably have wife and kids. Mm. At that point, I'd be like, okay, cool. I've done it. I've made it. And I think I said I'd tweet that, you know, I did it. Mm. I said I was going to tweet that I did it. Like, that would I be did nice. Everything I, that I, I wanted I to do. I will retweet that. I did it. And then I just, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Can't, can't even, can't even say I'll be tweeting without it. <laughs> and then, yeah, and I'll just peace out. Or I don't know. I just move yeah. on to do other things. But you no, know, I definitely know, like, this can't carry on forever. Yeah. But I can't just be. Yeah. the guy forever I eventually you know i'm gonna want to just relax and just settle down and slow down and just mm. that, that, chill that, yeah but well, i think right now i'm just in i'm just in go mode i'm yeah. just in this zone of i want to just increase my power well you need to be in go mode right now because you're like what you're 29 29 29, 29. Yeah. Yes. So this is like this is your peak. This is crunch time. This is your physical. Well, yeah. This is your physical peak. So what exactly. your, in terms of boxing? So why would I? Why would I slow down? You need to fucking go. Why not just keep as going? As no, absolutely. See how far I can go. Yeah. By the time you get to forty, that's when you whack on a suit and you turn up to the event. That's, oh, yeah, that's when but you then, but then at that point, I've I've got the business suit. Yeah. I've got all the businesses. That's I've got all this yeah. and all that. And at that point, I can just do whatever the fuck. Yeah. I want. When you get to forty, that's that's net worth time. 
That's right. when you start focusing on the fucking right. big bills. Well, uh, yeah. But now you got the fuck. You're in your prime. Your athletic prime. You Having look, my prime, huh? You, yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Constant sponsors. After right here. a few bears, this is my last life advice from yeah, Chip yeah, yeah, O'Crime. Yeah, 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 listen, I'm speaking. I'm speaking fat. So shout out to yeah, CR7 yeah. for that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but like, but like, even someone like Ronaldo, like, yeah. he inspires me because you know how he's able to just, even to this day, still just be sharp on point. Yeah, I think, I mean, if I were you, I, I, you mentioned like wanting to be the GOAT. I, I think it's important. Let, let's look to Messi first and then like, and then oh after that we'll, we'll do Ronaldo. But it's important. Like if we're going to focus you, on GOATs, we focus on GOATs. You can't be the GOAT if you're like small and five foot eight though. That's impossible. <laughs> you, it's impossible. Cause the, are, there, are there actually any short kings that are, are regarded as GOATs? How tall, how tall Messi, was Albert Einstein? Messi. Get out, I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to say Bruno Mars. What? Bro, what do you mean what? Yo, Bruno tat. Mars is quite lame. If I was gay, 100%. What? Okay, I mean, fair. But no, Bruno Mars is... Lang, yeah. No. <laughs> it's saying, no, Bruno, Bruno Mars is not the GOAT. He was five foot seven, In, Einstein. Five seven? That, yeah. that, that's got material. That right is GOAT, yeah, that's I can't lie. Maybe, yeah, Short King's got the he, potential. I mean, he's short and he makes bangers. Bro, have you seen... Who, Albert Einstein? No, I'm yeah, theory of relativity Mars, went oh off, my brother. 100% went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the Glock came Shout out, out to the Glock on that one. Uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think who else. Um, who, who else is a short king regarded as Kevin Hart? Do you voice uh, Insigne? <laughs> Insigne. <laughs> Yo, Kevin Yo, Hart, isn't no, he oh, like 5'6", by the way? Goat of comedy? Who is the goat of comedy? Dave Chappelle, maybe. Dave's, yeah, Con but he's controversial. quite tall. Controversial? Yeah, yeah, but he's, yeah, he's not a... But I mean, we're talking to goats. We have, we have to talk goats here. Well, I, Kevin Hart had a period where he was goat. Really? He and was then, just a fucking Dwayne Johnson a, backup. What? Yeah, he's just every I don't every, every Dwayne every, Johnson doing stand up. No, like uh, that's Kevin Hart's thing, man. He's always the backup to The Rock in every movie they fucking make. Yeah, but oh he's yeah, a yeah, but that's comedian. Movie. We're talking about actor. comedy. Like, Is he? Stand -up. Was he ever the goat of stand up comedy? Yes. What an American. Where Yes, where I every Dave Chappelle like he was selling out all the fucking time. Ooh, I can't laugh at some of them. They yeah. don't. I, don't, I think I don't Dave Chappelle's clear. clear of I mean, Hart. Dave Chappelle now, but at the time, Kevin Hart was that guy. But I don't know. He like people kind of just got bored of his. Kind of reminds me of Eden Hazard, though. He just. I had think. That one I think. Season. I think his banter is very uh, samey. Like if you watch, obviously you are talking about the stand-ups, but any movie that you watch, his jokes are always a. Uh, yeah, same vibe. The yeah, same. Yeah, no, yeah. but it's just like the way he delivers it. it yeah, yeah. Same. So I guess it kind of run dry, and then gonna, people yeah. just kind of. Actually, that's a really good point. 